Hey everybody. Well, today I thought we could take a look at another one of these cool Roker wood model kits. So this one is now a mechanical music box. I built a whole bunch of these different kits from this company and some other companies as well. And they're actually pretty cool. They go together really well and they're really well constructed. And I thought this one was kind of different because it had these jewel like things that go on here. I think when you uh, wind it up, these little things either uh, spin or maybe the whole thing turns. I'm not really sure. It does have the music box uh, mechanism that goes with this. And here's the back of it. It just shows you some other kits that they make. This one looks interesting. It's like a biplane. Uh, these biplanes rotate around this tower. I might get that one. That looks pretty cool. So I found this on Amazon for, it was on sale for uh, $24, I think is what it was. It normally goes for about $30. So uh, you, if you hang around and look around, you'll find these on sale. They go on and off sale all the time. But I thought this would be interesting. All right, well, let's uh, open it up and see what the parts look like. Yeah, okay, so here is all the parts laid out. So this doesn't look like it's as big of a kit as some of the ones I've built. So this is section A right here. This is B, and everything's labeled, so it makes it easy to uh, find all the parts. A lot of these parts are pretty big. There's C. Here's D, and you can see the nice uh, decorative designs that they put on some of these parts, which looks really good. There's some more over here. And I think um, these pieces probably bend similar to the race car that I did a while back. At least that's what it looks like. This is uh, number E or letter E for parts. So yeah, there's some pretty cool things here. We got a piece of sandpaper to get the burrs down. I usually just use a hobby knife. There are some spacers or washers right there. Um, there's some kind of a sticker here. I'm not really sure what that is for. It's like they're long strips. Here's the music box. Um, I don't know what song this plays. It's called Starry Night, and it has it in quotes, so I'm guessing maybe that's the name of the song. There's also a stick of wax here, which is common for these kinds of kits, because uh, when wood is rubbing against wood in these kits, you need to have some kind of a lubricant in there, so that's what they use. And then here's all the hardware in here, including the jewels. The key to wind up the jewel box, there's a little disc in there, probably a sprocket of some kind, and looks like some gears or something, I'm not really sure. All right, well, this looks like it's going to be a, a fun little kit to build, so I may as well get started on it. All right, so just an update here. Um, this is going together uh, pretty fast, actually. So here is the music box section that actually screws into the bottom of this, and then you also put the key in there which screws on as well. Um, now these parts here, these are super tricky. So it's got these little corner bits right here that are very fragile. Now we saw this before in the uh, race car wood model that I did a video on. You can go back and check that video out if you'd like. It used a very similar thing. So when you pop these off the, uh, the frame here, you got to be very careful with those. You don't want to just push on it because it'll you'll break these. So you got to be very careful and they're made to bend and it's really cool how they make this work so um, when you're putting you build the whole sides on here they're like so you can see how thick that is you add the decorative layers make sure you got the decorated parts showing and then when you put these on you have to be really careful so here is one and see how this is made to uh, bend so when you're putting this on you got to be really careful about the way this goes on here because it these fit in here like this and then you have to make sure that the curved part fits in that slot, but you got to be careful. Sorry, it's so wavy. <laughs> got to be careful not to push on it uh, too hard, but see how that just kind of goes in there? So, yeah, it's hard to do this one-handed, but that's how that goes on, and everything matches up. But it's really cool uh, once it's all put together. Okay, so here's another little bit of a tricky section. So you got to put this top plate on, and you got to make sure that the arrow is facing the right way from the drum here, from the music box, but... What's tricky about it is when you put this on, you're sandwiching it, this centerpiece in between this. So uh, there's notches where that curved section goes. So you got to be really careful when you put this on and just make sure that you are getting it in there. Just push it in, uh, you know, real careful so that as you're pr pressing this part down, it goes inside there. And then there's another notch right in here uh, and you'll see it up here at the top. And you just got to make sure that each of these corners go in there. So don't force it. Just, you know, kind of gently push it in there. And eventually it'll all go in there. But it's just kind of, you know, tricky. So on the top here, you can see how all these fit in these little notches. It's really cool. So, and this is solid. This is a nice solid chunk of, uh, of base here. So I really like it. 
So yeah, like I said, this is going together pretty fast. All right, perfect. All right, so this part was um, a little bit complicated trying to get all this on here. There's a lot of gears going on. You do have to wax uh, between the teeth of these gears as well as this. And on the top, you can see the wax that's on there. But it got a little confusing with um, this part because, as you can see, there's a ton of layers of stuff going on here with these jewel things. And um, the, this has a little bit of play in it. You can see how this kind of like, you know, you can lift it up just a little bit. And that is fine. As long as that nail head isn't sticking out at the top, you're good to go. But, you know, the way it looks, it looks like the whole thing's supposed to fit really tight. But it doesn't because there's this little ring that you got to put in there. Um, let's see, where is it on the instructions? See right here, you got to push that little black uh, washer that's down inside there. And so they give you this little tool right here to use to smash things down into it which is helpful, and there's also a little ruler on here. But uh, yeah, so that was a little little complicated, but it looks like it's gonna get even more complicated with these other ones, because this is getting pretty intense over here. You can kind of see <laughs> uh, all this stuff going on in the instructions. So um, yeah, there's a lot more to this than it looks. There's, a, there's some more right there. All right, well, at least I got that part done, so that's good. Okay, so some of this stuff is kind of difficult to put together because these little black spacers right in here, you have to really smash those in there. And it's not always the easiest thing to uh, get them in there. They do give you this tool that helps you do it. You, you take this uh, little like gap right here and you push down really hard on it. And that's where you can get everything flat. Uh, another thing that's really cool is you make this. This is another tool that you make. It's actually made up of three layers of wood. And you'll notice that there is some holes in here and there's some markings in it. And so uh, what this is for is when you are putting this piece together, um, everything has to be spaced out a certain way. So when you are uh, putting this part here on, you're going to stick it through this middle hole right here like uh, this. And when you do, you'll see the edge of it come up in this little spot right here. And so when you do it, it ends up being right even. You'll see how the metal piece right here is even with that hole right there. And so yeah, that's how you make sure that you get it at the right height. Same thing with this one. When you put in hole number two right here, sorry, this keeps going out of focus. It keeps trying to focus on the other stuff. Uh, you put it in hole number two and you'll see the, see how the metal, you can see it through there. And that's how you know how far this has to go in. And then it's really cool because now you use this to make sure that you got everything measured properly. So you flip it this way and when you put it like this, see how everything matches up? So that's how you know you've got everything at the right height because everything, all these uh, gears and stuff had to be at the right spot. So it's pretty cool how they do it, um, but I just wish that these black things were a little easier. When you're pushing these on, sometimes the, back, the black thing pops out of the wood piece, and so you have to be kind of, you know, putting it back in there, you got to be kind of careful, um, and it keeps wanting to come loose. And then also on these narrow spots like this, you have to be careful not to um, push down a crooked because you can split the wood if you're not careful but anyway so yeah that's what that looks like so far and uh it's kind of a lot of work to make these little things but they're pretty cool when they're done okay so i think i'm almost finished now i got all of this put together and uh this top area i still got a few more pieces to add to this this is going to go on top of this like this and then um i just got to match up the holes and and press it down the one part that I didn't get on this, the instructions, was this part right here. I, I don't really know why they tell you to insert that metal pin in there. They tell you to put the pin in there, and then over here, it tells you to rotate it about a 30 degrees at a time, and pull the shaft out, and then uh, do it again in a different hole or something. I don't know. I, I tried doing that, and I don't really understand what the whole purpose was. And then it says... Uh, it says, uh, until the top of the movement can be removed smoothly, I guess. And then it shows here like that top section's, you know, uh, off. But the whole rest of the time you're building this, um, you don't ever, you know, have it taken off. It's still on there. So if I flip it over here, you can see that by the time you get to this part right here, that top section is still on there. So I have no idea what that whole section was about. I, I really don't understand what the point of that was. Um... I don't know, I, I couldn't figure out what it was, but anyway, that was a bit confusing. Hopefully it wasn't anything that I needed to do, but uh, I still don't get it.
All right, here it is. It's all finished now. Um, <laughs> this is pretty cool. It kind of reminds me a little bit of those old uh, ships, um, compasses or something like that, just kind of the way it looks. But it's pretty ornate for what it is, uh, especially in this base area, the way they did the decorations in there. And the way the whole thing goes together is pretty good, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, a few difficult things like I showed um, in the earlier segments of the video, but I think it looks really good when it's finished. You have uh, extra parts left over. Um, there's a couple of these panels that are left over, probably in case you accidentally break these corners. So it's nice that they provide that. There's some more jewels uh, if you want to, you know, put the same color in there if you want to, uh, in the jewels or whatever. I tried to mix it up a little bit. Tried to put every different color that they provided. So, uh, but yeah, it gives you some variety and choice of what you want to do with it. So uh, let me try to give you some close-ups of this so you can actually see the inner workings of it. All right, so looking from the top here, we can see all the gear work that's going on in there. There's quite a few little gears that are in there. Uh, make sure you put the wax on it to make those work nicer. You can see all the nice little detail that they put on like the uh, decorations here around this whole thing. Those are the last things you put on are these outer rings. There's the jewels in there. They, they really add a nice little flair to this. See that little spirally thing right there? I think that's pretty neat. You can kind of see all the little designs. It's supposed to be kind of like, you know, astrological, which I think is pretty neat looking. You can see more of the gear work that's down inside there. There's a little bit of, you can see more of the gear work here on the side. There's a lot. There's a lot going on in here. <laughs> it's pretty intricate, but it, it looks really nice. You can see more of the stuff over here. So yeah, and like I said, you can change up the color of the jewels if you want. Very nice. All right, so um, let me wind this up, and I'm uh, hoping there's no copyright claim on this music. I hope I don't get a copyright claim on this video, because, uh, you know, hopefully the, the music is okay. I think it's called Starry Night. I'm not really sure, but let's listen to the song. Okay, so you can really see the nice uh, gear work going on in there. There's a lot of movement. A little jerky here and there, but you know, it's. I think a lot of music boxes have that. I think it's actually in the mechanism itself. You can see there's a lot going on in there. It's very nice. I think it's very cool. It's a lot of interesting stuff, a lot of interesting movement. That jewel there stays in place, and so does the one. Actually, I guess that's the only one. The rest of these all move. Yep, this is very cool. I really, really like this a lot. Okay, well, there we go. That is the music box from Roker, R-O-K-R. -R. They make all kinds of these really cool wooden model kits. They're fun to put together. They're easy to put together. I think they're very nicely designed. I think... Uh, They've gotten better at this as they've gone. Uh, I just built a car that I did a video on, a race, classic race car, and I saw this one and I, it just kind of appealed to me for some reason. I just think it looks really cool. It retails for, well, I got it on Amazon. It's normally $30, it's like $29.99, but I got it on sale for, I think it was like uh, $24, $25, something like that. And yeah, it had like a $5 coupon on it. So I thought that was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I really, really like this. So if you are interested in getting one of these, um, you can probably just go to the Roker website or go to uh, Amazon and get one of these for yourself and spend a day putting together a really nice little music box. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and also uh, subscribe if you'd like. I'd really appreciate that. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video and have a good one.